Well, howdy, folks. I'm so glad you stopped by. Hey, some of you may be aware of my little mishap with my Thule roof rack system. If not, check out this video right here, and it'll catch you up to speed. So one of the risers for my Thule roof rack system that I bought in 2015 went to pieces while traveling down a highway on a really windy March day. I purchased the Thule awning and three solar panels and attached them to the system about a year ago, and I hadn't had any issues since. Unfortunately, after this day in March though, the frame for my solar panels, it sustained extensive damage and the crossbars of the Thule system did as well. Fortunately though, I was able to save the awning before it was damaged. I contacted customer support over at Thule and about a week or so later, I heard back from them. I sent them some photos and videos and I had explained to them what had happened. Dylan over at Thule, he felt that the uh, wind had played a significant role in the failure of the product, which I agree. But he also said that they would stand behind their product. So Dylan, if you happen to be watching this video, thanks man, I really appreciate it and your customer service was exceptional. So fast forward a month and I have two new crossbars and four new risers. And now that the sun's shining bright and we're seeing those summertime temperatures, I'm really excited about getting the awning back on my truck. So let's get to it. To extend the Thule awning, insert the extension tool into the opening at the far left end of the awning. Rotating clockwise, I extend the awning no more than two feet or so. Loosen the wing bolt on the support leg and carefully pull it out away from the awning while gently extending it to the ground, angling it away from the truck. Secure the wing bolt. Repeat for the second leg. You will need to slide the legs out away from the truck a couple of times during the process to give the awning adequate support. The awning will be nice and taut when fully extended. Remove the extension tool and secure the awning to the ground if needed and you are good to go. To retract the awning, first angle the support legs in towards the truck. Insert the extension tool into the opening near the end of the awning and rotate the tool counterclockwise. You may need to reposition the legs closer to the truck a couple of times during this process.
Once the awning is within two feet from the truck, you will loosen the wing bolt on the first support leg and carefully slide it up and into the awning. Make sure that the metal foot is angled away from the truck so that it slides in behind the plastic middle support on the awning. Push the leg fully against the awning and secure the wing bolt, again making sure that the metal foot is secured behind the plastic middle support. If not properly secured, the support legs will come loose during your trip and swing out the next time you go to extend the awning, potentially hitting you or your truck. Repeat this for the second leg. Once properly secure, retract the awning fully and remove the extension tool. And now you're ready to hit the road. I love the ease of use of this awning, and for me it seemed to be the closest in style and functionality to most standard awnings found on RVs. This awning is a bit pricey but so far has not disappointed me in any way and sure does come in handy on those warm sunny days extending my living space outside of the truck. I hope you found this video useful and if you are new to the channel I make other truck camping content like the video on the screen now. I would appreciate it if you would check it out. Until next time, Godspeed.